The last word is an incredible, amazing, classic cocktail. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a green eyes, an incredible variation on that incredible classic cocktail that you need to check out. Woohoo! So pumped to get to be featuring another cocktail from one of my favorite cocktail bars ever. This cocktail, the green eyes, comes from the Hunt and Alpine Club. And you can actually find the recipe in the owners of the Hunt and Alpine Club's book, Northern Hospitality. I made a uh, video on a cocktail called the Smoke and Bitters, and I talked so much about how much I love Portland, Maine, and the incredible cocktail and food and beverage scene that exists there. And the Hunt and Alpine Club is at the top of my list of all of the places in that gorgeous, amazing city. Uh, and this cocktail, the Green Eyes, it's a little bit on a riff of a uh, last word, but it's it's a little bit more simple in my opinion, and it's an, it's a really excellent. Uh, variation on this amazing recipe. One time I had a guest order a last word and I had just run out of Luxardo Maraschino liqueur and luckily I remembered the green eyes and made them one of these and they absolutely loved it. So thank you to the folks over at the Hunt and Alpine for coming up with this amazing cocktail. If you want to check them out and learn a little bit more about their incredible bar and the things that they do, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for their social media uh, profile so you can take a look at that. And if you ever find yourself in Portland, Maine, I guarantee you they will not disappoint. But all right, let's get back to this incredible cocktail. So this is a shaking cocktail. We're gonna grab our little shaker here. And the first thing we're gonna do is uh, three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. I already have that pre-juiced and bottled. We're then going to do a half ounce of simple syrup, but not just any simple syrup. Uh, so we're actually not even gonna be using this simple syrup. We're gonna be using a uh, rich simple syrup, which I already made a batch of right here, uh, just a little bit for this cocktail. And rich simple syrup is just, instead of using equal parts sugar to water, a rich simple syrup just means you use, you just do two parts of sugar for every one part of water. It gives it a little bit more of a stronger, sweeter taste, but that means that you, have, you can use less of it in a cocktail and it doesn't water it down so much. A half ounce of our rich simple. We are then going to do three quarters of an ounce of green chartreuse. Oh, this stuff, man, it's, it's a lovely, it's dangerous, it's delicious. Then you're gonna do an ounce and a half of London Dry Style Gin. I'm using a Mazzini Gin. It's a Brazilian gin uh, that is still styled like a London Dry Style Gin, uh, just with a couple of botanicals from Brazil. Had to give a nice tropical South American spin to this cocktail or else uh, what are you doing on my channel? Uh, so an ounce and a half of our London Dry Style Gin. Also, feel free to use whatever London Dry Style Gin you have at home, Beef Eater, Bombay, have at it. All right, and last but not least, one of the coolest, biggest twists on this cocktail is the addition of an egg white. So we're gonna crack open our egg and try only to get the egg white in this cocktail. As with any egg white cocktail, we will first be uh, shaking this without ice, doing a dry shake, and then we're gonna be adding ice afterwards and doing a wet shake. You do that to fully emulsify the egg to make sure it's okay to drink and to really froth it up. So let's give this a, you're gonna shake this for about 30 seconds to a minute without ice, and then you're gonna do add ice and shake for another 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna pop that open, add some ice and do it all over again. All right, let's pop that open. Ah, there we go. One large cube, and we're going to double strain this cocktail into our glass. Nice and frothy, oh man, look at that. That looks incredible. And last but not least, our garnish. We have a lime wheel skewered with a Luxardo cherry. But all right, let's give this a little sip. Mm, 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 mm. That is good. Uh, it's unmistakably a variation on a last word, but it's not as, it doesn't have that, that tartness of the um, Luxardo maraschino liqueur. And the egg white gives it a really nice frothy, almost creamy consistency that really kind of carries the chartreuse and the London Dry Style Gin's flavors excellently in it. Um, it's an, just an incredible all around 
amazing, beautiful, delicious cocktail. And I cannot speak highly enough about it and about the people who made it and about the bar where it originated. Give this one a shot, especially if you have a bottle of green chartreuse lying around. You're like, what else am I going to do with this? Well, here you go. You got another cocktail to make. But there you have it, guys. A green eyes. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you can come on over here and hit that like button. It's a quick and easy way to show YouTube that you liked it and it shows me that you liked it and it makes me happy. But that's enough for me, guys. I have an amazing cocktail to swoon and fawn over and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.